Hey y'all, it's Diane with Y'all Craft One in my old barn door. And I'm back with the decorating video of the ring binder journal. So what I did was I just took this page out, this page here. You know, it had the little icicle things on the back. So I just cut this piece and made a whole page pocket um, out of it. So she'll have a whole big pocket here. And I'm just going to take my little <clears throat> circle punch. And I'm just going to eyeball the center and snip out a little bitty spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. For her to be able to see that, you know, she can pull stuff out of there. So, now I need to find something to go in there. And I have some goodies that I got from my friend Eve. Um, she is Eve in Wonderland um, on YouTube. And she has a shop. Oh my gosh, I always forget. I'm going to look it up. Hang on. Just let me look it up real quick. I have it saved under my favorites. It's a really, really cute name for a shop, too. I don't know why I can't remember the name of it. I'm just drawing a blank. Just a little ding that, I guess. I'm going to pause my video while I look for it. Okay, it's called the Snippet Shop. I knew it had something with the word snippet in it, but I couldn't remember the whole shop name. So, anyways, we're going to pull these out. And we're going to look through here and see what we've got. Because she sent me some awesome, awesome stuff. I know I want to put um, some of these German pages in it. Look how cool that is. Super cool. Super old. This has something about a bird. It's the only word I can recognize. <laughs> Here's some decor, um, dictionary pages. Really old. This is something about altist, a counter singer. So I'm going to put a couple of pages of this in here. Just because I think these would be really cool for um, Nan to have them to play with in her journal. Ooh, that one's going to be too big. Do I want to fold it? I guess I'm going to have to fold it. I really didn't want to fold it. But I guess I will. So we're going to put her a couple of pieces of that in there. And then, in big pockets like this, I always like to put some little snippets of the papers that I've used in the journal. So I'm going to put some snippets of stuff in here for her. For her to be able to use. Um, to decorate with and to play with in her journal. So let me just grab a few pieces that I've used in here so far. Okay, I think this one might be too tall. But these, so see, this just little snippets that she can use to use to, um, use to use, use to decorate in her book. So in the big pockets, I like to kind of stuff them with goodies like that so that they can have fun and play with, with some stuff. I'm just trying to kind of look through here and see what else I have. See if there's anything kind of for me that I can recognize. No, not really, but I'm going to put one of these in there because that's super cute, too. I love, love, love these book pages that Eve sent me. So, thank you so much, Eve. Eve in Wonderland. She's the Snippet Shop on Etsy, and I will try to remember to put her links below. So, now we move on. So, we've got a big pocket there. Whoops. Oh, and then we have a big pocket here. So I'm not going to put anything in this pocket because I don't want to bulk the book up too much. And I want her to be able to use some of this, you know, for her memoirs or whatever she wants to put in it. So I don't always stuff every pocket with something because, you know, because of that. 
Okay, so now we have this little flip out page here and we have a pocket inside and I have these cute little um, tags. These came in a book and they're just like, you can cut these out and make um, like a mason jar. You can do a mason jar and, and punch your little hole here and tie it onto the mason jar. But I just think they're super cute. So I'm going to put her one of those in there. No, I'm not because it's too wide. So <laughs> rethink that plan. Let's see. We have some cute little goodies over here. These are from one of my Seven Gypsies pages. And it's got all these cute little pieces. I like the mason jar one. I am not a fussy cutter. So I will not be fussy cutting these. But I am going to put this in here, and I'm not going to ink this because I think she'll probably want to fussy cut that out. So we're going to put one of those. I might put one of those. We'll see. I actually think I might want to put that over there. Ooh, I love the kale. I'm going to leave him sitting there. We might use him. And I think I'll ink him. I need to snip off the edge because it's still got some of the black on it. So we'll just trim him up a little bit. we're going to need something with some color in this pocket because everything's so brown and cream I don't think I'm going to put that in there but I am going to I'm going to ink this and I am going to attach it over here and I'm going to do it kind of like a little top tuck so that she can slide something up underneath it if she wants to yeah. So when I do the little top tucks, I just go right across the top edge with a little bead of glue. And then we're going to line them up right there. I'm sorry, y'all can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to line them up right here. And I think since this wouldn't fit over here, I might just slide it up under here. Once that dries, I'm not going to slide it all the way up under there because it'll stick to it. Okay, so now i got to figure out what I want in this pocket. And I think, I think I want to put one of these beautiful, beautiful envelopes in this pocket just to add a little color to the page. Yes, I like it. Okay, so ooh, I don't want that pushed all the way up. I'm going to just lay that there for now. And we're going to move on. These, I just, I think they're too pretty to do anything to them. Just sweet, sweet pages. However, <clears throat> I do think I need something little in here. Look, y'all, she sent me these, Carolyn sent me these cute little post-it notes with a cutting board, a little cup, and a pot. So, wouldn't it be cute? No. I don't think those need to go there. They need to go kind of on a more plain page. So we need some kind of a card or something in here. Let me see what I've got. Okay. I have these really cool vintage plain cards. So I think we're going to punch a hole. Add one there. I want something here. Let's do... Oh, I know. These are so cute. They're crazy eight cards, but look, it's got the little horse on it. So we're going to put him here too. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what's wrong with my throat today. I've had to clear it all day long. So we'll put him here. That looks weird to me. So I need to figure out something else. I know. I have these big index cards, and this one is a cool color. It would be a cool color to kind of go in behind those 
and it'll just kind of bring it together. So we're going to take our little template up here and punch some holes in our index card. That looks better. I like it. Okay. This you can actually use as a tuck. And I think I might maybe tuck something cute down in there. Let me see what we have in these little bitty cards. <laughs> something like that. That'd be cute to tuck down in there. And I'm not going to tuck anything on this side because he's just sweet. I don't want to cover him up. Okay, and then we have another pocket here. So I think... What do I want to use in this pocket? I have these really cool bridge cards that... Um, bridge score cards that Carolyn sent me. Just super cool. So I think I want to use... Oh, I don't know if I want to tear it out or not, but I'm going to have to. Doug, that hurts my heart to do that. Because <laughs> it's vintage. Okay, and then, y'all, this is, whoops. I'm dropping things. I'm pulling out my, my hoard stash. Okay. These are things I've been hoarding forever. I know it's ridiculous. But I have been hoarding them forever. Oh, super cute. I might have to use this in here. Mmm. That's adorable, isn't it? I don't know. I might have to use that in this book. I might gift it to my sweet nan. All right, let's see. Yes, I've had all of this stuff forever and a day. And I just keep adding to this box. Now, of course, we have to have green stamps in here. Because you got to go grocery shopping, right? And I've just not used any of them. Look at these. I need to use these too. I'm going to pull that out. I haven't used any of them because I've just been hoarding and I just need to stop it. So I'm just kind of digging through here to see what I've got. <laughs> I can't wait to use these. Look, are those not so stinking cute? <laughs> Alright, and then I have some of these old. Um, okay, here's a little green stamp book. We could do a book and a card. Let's pull those out. I'm just going to have to pull some of this out to, in order to make myself use it. Just trying to look through here and see what we've got in here. I think I'm going to pull some of these out. I'm so bad about just holding on to stuff. And it's like, good grief, Diane, you have to use it. That's a cigarette card that Kristen sent me as a gift with purchase. I was so excited when she sent that. And look, I'm just hoarding it. I'm just hoarding it away. Okay. What do we have in here? Okay, this is some stuff Eve sent me. What do we have in here? Should I turn the video off? Let me see. We're at 14 minutes. Let me just pause it. Okay. Y'all, I'm so bad. I have hoarded all this vintage stuff that people have sent me or stuff that, you know, I really, really like that people have sent me for long enough. I have that whole box of stuff that I've not even used anything out of. So, I've pulled some stuff out. Nan, I love you. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. For me to use this, I love you. <laughs> so, I found this and this really cool old vintage bingo card. Look how cool this one is. It's so yellow. And I love this big, huge flash card. And I found these that mom sent me a long time ago. I haven't even used them. And then I found these really, really cool pockets that I forgot I had because I had them stuffed up in there from like a recipe book. And they're pockets on both sides. 
How cute are those? So I thought I would use maybe one of these in here. And then I found a cool recipe card. Look, I found some of these that Eve sent me. Isn't he adorable? He'd be cute in a little journal like this for farmhouse stuff. And then she sent me some of these vintage um, labels. And I have this and this. So anyways, it's time for me to use some of this stuff. I'm just going to stop hoarding. Or I'm going to try to stop hoarding. So bad about it. So we're going to, we're going to the center of this little book here. And we're going to pull. And we're going to put a green stamp card in this pocket. And then, look, I also have these. These are labels. I can't even remember where I got these from. One of my sweet friends sent them to me. I did a video on it, and I was super excited about it. And then I stuck them up in a box and hoarded them. Stupid. <laughs> do y'all do that? When you get stuff that's real old that you just really, really love, you stick it in a box and you just hang on to it for dear life like you can't use it. <laughs> Okay, so I like this one. That one's really cool. Probably use that one. I mean, look how neat these labels are. How stinking cute are they? Look at that. That's a can label. And then, what are these? These are from a catalog. Now, how cute are these? These need to go in here because they're like, this is gardening stuff. Oh, look at the chicks. It's a Sears catalog. Let me see if it's got a date on it. I don't think they do. But it's old because it's all kinds of yellow. So we're going to use the page with the chicks. And we're going to fold him up. Oh, and it'll be perfect in the little chicken pocket. Oh, don't tell me you're not going to fit. Oh, come on. I don't want to fold it again. Okay, we're going to hold that to the side. We'll use it in the next pocket. I want one more thing in here. Let's try one of these big labels. Or maybe that one don't. That one kind of clashes. This one would look cute in there. Okay, y'all, my hands are so dry. Do y'all get that way? In the wintertime, my hands get super, super dry. And half the time, I don't put lotion on because I'm always touching a phone or, or a computer or something, and I don't want to get lotion on, the, you know, my electronics. Okay, so I think for now... I have everything in this pocket that I want. I might come back and put a tag in this pocket later on. We'll see. Alright, so we're going to keep going. Now, see what I do? I get all this stuff on my desk, and I just pile it all around. And then I can't, I don't have any room to work. Can't move. Okay. Alright, so on the back of this one, it's kind of plain. So I want to put one of these pot sticky notes. Just to add a little some kind of interest. So we're going to put him here. Super cute. And then on the back of this one. Do we want to put something on the back of this one? be cute here I want to clip something on or maybe I don't really want to glue anything to this though with the vinyl oh there we go let's put him and then I have paper clips these cute little altered paper clips so we'll just put one with the 
ribbon or I think it's fabric. Yeah, we'll clip him right up there. That works. Where are we on our time? We're at 20 minutes. Okay. Pausing is good. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know. I kind of think I want something in here. Yeah. I like this. And I think I just want to do like a little hole here at the top. Slide him in there. And that just adds a little something cute. Okay. Now we need something for this pocket. And I have these little books that I've made that are just extra little... Um, little booklets just extra coffee dyed paper that I made little booklets out of so we're gonna put one of those in here we're gonna put one of these little remittance receipts these are super super old they're very delicate you can tell because they tear really easily we're gonna slide him in there and then I think I want to do the bingo card I like it okay we're moving on along. We need to put some washi on the edge of this one. I'm going to pause while I do that, though. Okay, we got our washi on. I kind of think I want the pig card here. Isn't that cute? Trying to decide which way I want to put it in. I might save the pig card and put the envelope in here because I think the envelope will be cute right here. So let's do that. I've got a mess on my desk, guys. Ow! Don't get your finger in the way of the binder ring. Ouch! <laughs> Pinch me. Be okay, big baby. All right, we need something to put in the envelope. No, I don't want to put anything in the envelope. I'm going to leave the envelopes empty. Well, I will actually go through, go back through, and put my scriptures in the envelopes. So... She can pull those out. Okay, so I need something for this pocket. Maybe. Maybe we want the pigs in there. That's cute. I like that. Okay, so we do the pigs. And what else do we want? Let's do one of these tags. I need something tall in behind here. Maybe we'll do one of these recipe cards. One of the Seven Gypsies recipe cards. I like that. We do need to ink around the edges of it, though. I'm not going around the corners on this one, though. I like it square. Here we go. That looks better. Okay, here we go. We need something for here. Y'all, this is a piece of wallpaper that Selena sent me on one of my packages, and I just think it's so stinking cute. I mean, look at that quilt. How adorable is that? So I want to put this in here for Nan to use it in this book. 
and she can trim it up or whatever but I'm gonna leave it the size it is until until she she gets it and that way she can do she can trim it to whatever size she needs but I think I'm just gonna clip it here I think I'm just gonna put a paper clip Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. My daughter just got home. So I'm going to put that right there. So we're going to move forward. Where are we at on our time? 25. Okay. Okay, we want something little in this pocket just to show her that it's a pocket. What do we have? I have this cute little tag, I think might be cute in this little pocket and that way she can just pull it out so let's put something in this one um i don't know let's put one of these little um labels oh it's just a little bit no it'll fit we're gonna leave it Okay. All right, I wanted to put some tabs on these, on some of these pages, not all of them, but just something to, to kind of give it a little decoration. Okay, let's put this one. So, I think we will fold one of these. Snip it off. I don't think I want the yellow one right. Well, that one might be okay right there. And then we will put one right here. Our book is filling up. I think I want this one right here. So we're going to make him a little bit smaller. I'm going to put him kind of in the middle. And then one on the chicken page. So we're just going to space them out so that, yeah, that's cute. Okay. There was something I wanted to do right here. I want to put one of these little cutting board sticky notes just because they're so adorable. Super cute. Okay. So, I believe there's a pocket in this one. Yes. All right. Okay, let's put one of these little cards. Actually, I think I want to put a couple of these cards in here. And then, is that too wide? Of course it is. Because I wanted that in there. That's too long. Y'all have to excuse if you hear my daughter. She knows I'm videoing, but she just is talking, talking, talking. But that's okay. I kind of like this in here. Even though it's a little bit too long, it's not as long as the book. Let me see what it looks from the back side. I think it's cute. I think I'm going to leave that. And then I need something for inside this pocket. So what do I have? that would be skinny enough. I think I want some colored paper. Let me see what I got over here. I don't really want that. Hang on guys, I 
because I'm looking for paper. Okay, I found some scraps in my box, and so I like this, but I don't know. That kind of clashes with that orange. Maybe I'll do the blue stripe. So let's make a tag out of this. Let me, I'm going to have to move stuff. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, wait. Look. I like this in here. Isn't that a cool label? Very cool. I think we'll use that one. I don't want to tear the top of my little bag. There we go. Cute. Super cute. Okay. That works. So we'll leave that like that. And let's see. Where is our next pocket? Okay. We have the pig pocket. Little pig, little pig. Let's see. Okay, I think I want one of the recipe cards and one of the seed cards to go in here. Let's see. These are so stinking cute. They have little sayings on them. Like this one says, Best Wishes, Best Wishes Celebration Seeds. Thrives when surrounded by friends and family. How cute is that? Let's use that one. And then, I think I already used one of those. That one's cute. They're all cute. I like this one with the little flower thing up at the top. But I think I do want to ink the edges of these. And I might make a tag out of the blue stripe um, paper to go in this pocket. We'll have to just look at it and see if it looks okay. can go in there and then let me find my little piece of blue paper again oh I think the blue will go good with that so let me just trim it down a little bit and I think I want to leave this rounded there it is turn a rounder And I have this little piece here that I think I would like to fold like that. We're going to staple him on. And then we need a button or something to go right here. the white star button. That's cute. Okay, and I think I would like some, I don't know if this red and white twine will fit in it, but if it will, it would look cute in there. Let me see if I can get it. Oh my goodness. The drama's at the office hope y'all can't hear that but it's pretty loud so I apologize if you do hear it okay he don't want to go in here but we're gonna force him to okay so we got him through there now I'm probably gonna have to trim that so that I can get it to go through 
other little hole. I'm probably going to have to force it through there too. Okay, let's see. I'm going to make this go in here. Okay. Hang on, I'm going to ask her to close her bedroom door because I don't really care to hear about all the office drama. I mean, not between her and her office buddies, but she works at a bank and she just started at a new branch. She got a promotion and evidently there is a lot of drama at the new branch that she has started at. So she's having to learn how to deal with office drama. Which is never any fun. Oh, come on. I have that one little piece. Do y'all see that? That one little piece that doesn't want to go through there. Let me see if I can get it pushed on through. I'm going to pause this while I try and figure this out. Oh, we're at 36 minutes. Hang on, guys. Okay, we're going to get our little star on this tag. And then... We're going to cut the video at that, and I think I'm going to, we only have just a little bit left to go, so I think in our next video we can probably finish it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here, get it loaded, and, um, and we'll come back and hopefully be able to finish the journal. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and leave me any comments or questions that you have below. And big hugs. Love you real big.